Greetings, you have the cyborg here. This is just a little vlog of mine, well, vlog, rant, vlog rant, whatever the tech people call them, but it's just so, like, I guess in a way it's like you guys are kind of like my, uh, I don't really like it, but it's like a counsellor, someone who listens to my problems and few of you that will have opinions to help me out with some of the things that I have wrong. I'm not going to be someone who goes on and on about like, this is horrible, this is horrible, this is horrible, this is horrible, this is horrible. And no, it's not going to be like that. Um, like, well, the first thing is like, I haven't been feeling like myself lately. Like, since I've started YouTube over a year ago, uh, I'm just not acting like myself. It's just not me, it's not who I am, it's... Uh, how else do you put it, like... like I, I'm not who I am, like, who you saw in the vlogs. What you see when I'm playing video games with friends, that's what I'm like. I'm just nervous to show who I am because I'm scared. Like, all my life I've been scared of people judging me. They've always judged me. Throughout my school life, people judged me because I was born with a heart condition, of which they went round teasing me, saying it was a heart disease, and that's just something I've never really gotten over. And, like, the one time that I actually felt like people were looking at me for seeing who I was and not assuming things and all that BS, but like, was when I had my magenta hair, like, it was bright, it was fluffy, it was outgoing, it was an eye popper, it was really an outstanding feature, it was something that was, like, happy, it was a happy colour, and it was my colour as a personality, very outgoing, very bubbly, I think I already said that, but, like, yeah, like I said, it was just part of my personality, that... I lost because I had to colour my hair because I need to find a job. I'm just not making an income and that's just... It's the hard part about growing up is having to make an income, make a living so you can live. You have to pay for things that people work for and people get paid to work for that and people pay for the product so that person can pay for the person who does the product and harvests and does whatever else is needed. But, I felt like my hair was my personality, is one thing. Like, even if I was feeling depressed, when it hung down in my face, when it hung down in my face, it just brightened my day, it made my day, it made me feel more unique than I know I am, because I... I've had people in my life, I've had my parents, grandparents, aunties, uncles, cousins, they've all said I'm unique in my own way in that, but it's fine hearing about it, but I just don't feel it. Like, you need to feel it in your heart. This side. And you you got to feel it in your heart, but I just don't. Like, uh, and then there's just other feelings that have been pent up, like, Feeling like I've failed everything because I've gone for literally every job available within Tauranga and in a way I'm ready to leave but in another way it's home and it's all I know. It's just one of those things like I've got plans like I wouldn't mind living in Wellington with Nick. I wouldn't mind living in Auckland with my brothers and sisters. I wouldn't mind living in Canada to be with some of my friends. I wouldn't mind being in the US to be inspired, to be out there, to see the world. But I'm just here in New Zealand. It really does suck being a small island. Well, not the smallest, but it still sucks. Like, just everything in my feelings just pent up. I don't know what to do anymore. I need a form of income. But the thing for me is, I just. I can't work. Like, 
bartending is the easiest work I've ever done other than YouTube, other than YouTube not paying because I've only got 57 subscribers, but yeah, like, don't get me wrong as well, I am extremely thankful for the 57 of you that have subscribed to me, like, I honestly, when I started this journey, it was just a hobby, but I can see that it's forming a side immunity exactly the way I wanted it. Those who were broken made whole. Those who feel lost have got a light that's shining for them. But as much as all that is, I feel like I need a light to shine. I need someone to show me the way to go. I need inspiration. And I definitely need a form of finance, finance, you know, financial support. It's just, it's just hard. It's everything just, uh, growing up sucks when you're like this. I mean, I know I've got a lot of my family members that may see this and may end up growling me at some point for some things I've said, but like, honestly, uh, Honestly, I don't know what to do. Like, I've tried everywhere. No one wants to hire me. Whether it's I'm doing something wrong, someone's better than me, someone's got more experience. It's just... Like, my friends and that. I've got friends that are still in school. i got friends that are retired. And all in between. But the thing is, like... They've all got or had jobs of some form and it's just I wish I knew what to do to fit in like I gotta be more of myself so I don't know I've been contemplating setting up a um, patreonic page so if anyone wants to help but it's like I just I don't know like I'm just stuck because I need a form of income I need a living I need to move out because I'm still with my grandparents and I said when I was young I would not be 20 and living at home and what am I doing? What makes it harder is a lot of people, a lot of employees just prefer empl uh, employers like their employees to be like them but for me I'm not like anyone else. I'm limited edition. I'm an endangered version of a human species. I'm a cyborg. I'm a heart child. I'm a heart adult. I'm a heart teen. I'm a New Zealander. I'm just someone that's trying to find my place in the world and no matter what I try, something kicks me, pushes me down. And I just feel like I've lost all hope now, so I just hope I just hope I can figure something out. Talking is something that I do a lot of. If you ask any of my friends, like Bandage Boy, Ian, Yanda Yanda, they'll, they'll all tell you that I'm a very talkative guy. Sometimes they have to actually tell me to shut up, so... It's just who I am. But I feel if I'm going to display who I am, that the world would reject me, and... I've had my fair share of rejections. Like going back to my, um, going back to my days as a child when I was in school and that. People making fun of me having a disease, saying that they don't want to catch it. It made me feel crushed because honestly, so many times I've said I didn't want to be born with this. Like. <sighs> I've so many times wished I had a normal life, but then I look around and I think, what is a definition of normal? But then I still feel that who I am is too abnormal. Like, no matter what I do, if I fake being someone, if I'm genuine to myself, there's only that very few amount of people that have accepted me. And I'm thankful for them, including you guys who have subscribed to me. But the thing is, like, <sighs> I've gone through my whole life confidently saying that I've got no fear, that I fear nothing, that nothing can scare me. But I think the thing is, I found, 
I found out after doing some deep contemplation that it's rejection. No one wants to be rejected. No one wants to feel left out. No one wants to be pointed and laughed at. No one wants to be feeling the way they do at times. Like, I don't know, like, I could almost feel like I almost feel like I could be suicidal, but the thing that keeps me strong is my family, my friends. But like so many people that I know that have committed suicide, I know that sometimes that's not enough, but I do know that even though people say that's the weak way out, I know that I have not the strength to do that. Because as much as I know that the person sitting next to me could hate my guts. I've still got a heart with so much love, they could literally throw stones at me and in a heartbeat I would forgive them. Like I, my childhood was just, I don't know what it's called, but like there's so much of it that's a happy memory, but then every time I remember it, it's a different memory. Happy memory, but it's different. and. I just, half the faces I don't remember, so, and from what the stories that I've been told from my mum, some of my brothers, I did not have a happy childhood, and yet I've always been smiling, I've always been that sort of person, but I guess, like Robbie, Robin Williams said, the happiest people, the ones that smile, hide the deepest scars. I'm going to finish my rant here. Um, I've got so much more to say, but honestly, like 12 minutes worth is just too long, and I hope that if any of you have got here, I thank you for getting this far. And like, if any of you have got any way to help me, any thoughts, any plans, if anything I've said is something that I can do that I haven't noticed, just please tell me, I'm at a dead end again. I know I posted a video about how I've done this, but for me this is just getting things off my chest. Like, I've tried writing things, but that's just, that's just made me angry, and I hate being that. I'm Bruce Banner. I can only be pushed so far before a beast comes out. And my beast has come out once, and I don't want that to happen again. So again, thank you for making it this far, thank you for listening, and thank you for those who are going to be commenting or helping me in some way, if, you, if you've made it this far. I want to thank um, Dapper Paper Bag, because they gave, sort of gave me the idea of doing this sort of idea on how I feel and just putting it out there as a vlog so people can understand and see my perspective of things so thank you um, uh, this was inspired by you so people um, for this amazing person I'll be putting their um, YouTube channel link in the description below so you can check them out because I I was at a rock scene and I think this is the best thing for me to get things off to lighten the load. Like, I feel a little lighter already. So, again, thank you. And before I start repeating myself, I'm going to let you go. But again, thank you. I know I keep saying thank you.